Today we're going to be looking at this gaming mouse from Deepcool. On the front of the box it tells you what the model number is, it also says FPS gaming mouse, you can see the mouse itself and that's it. On the back of the box it basically says mouse, otherwise the writing is that small you've got to be Hawkeye to be able to read it. Inside the box we've got a manual of the mouse and some plastic packaging which could have been cardboard to save the environment. We have a multilingual manual with a quick start guide as well as instructions what buttons do what. Would have been nice to have a QR code instead though. The product has a braided cable which is two meters long. A right handed design with a finger rest offers additional relief over extended use. The shorter length and higher curve is well suited for palm and claw grip users with a smaller hand. Okay, so the mouse has got eight programmable buttons. So you've got your left button, your right button, the actual lead, the wheel works is a button as well. You've got DPI up and down, two side buttons there, as well as another one at the bottom. And these fully programmable through the software. The switches of the actual mouse are ohm run micro switches. So the crisp and clean registered clicks with long lasting reliability rates up to 20 million clicks. So that's pretty good. The mouse is equipped with a high caliber PixArt PAW3335 sensor featuring up to 16,000 DPI, which is pretty good. We've also got four glide plates on the bottom. They are PTFE mouse feet and they are high quality, ideal for sliding over your mouse mat. So doing a quick sound test now to see how loud it is. This is the microphone and it's exactly 20 centimeters away. So, and this audio is unedited. Left mouse button, right mouse button, middle button, wheel, buttons on the side. So this would be forward, backwards, the additional button at the bottom, and then the DPI buttons. Okay, so we've downloaded the software from Deepcool's website. It's pretty easy to find. You just go to the product page, click on downloads, and away you go. You have a manual on there. You've also got a link that says software and another one that says updates. The one I installed was the one called updates because they're both the same size. It just looks like this is an older version of the software. This one does everything it should do. So just download this one. Bear in mind, you will need a zip program to unzip the actual file. Once installed, looks like this. You have lots of different options. So you've got light settings. So you've got static, breathing and off, and you can adjust the brightness. So depending on what you want, bear in mind, the color is set to this turquoise color. You cannot change it to red or blue or rainbow. And to be honest, I think that's a bit disappointing myself for a price of uh, a mouse of this price ring. I would have liked to see RGB lighting on it, to be honest with you. We are in 2022, not in the mid noughties anymore. You can do programming of each of the buttons. So you can go onto button settings, click in each button, and then basically, obviously program what it, you want it to do. So for example, you can have it as a macro keys, DPI keys, and so forth, depending on how you want it set up. And it also tells you on there what the buttons are assigned to as well. You've also got advanced on there where you can adjust your DPI manually and so forth for all the different settings. So it's more sensitive or less sensitive, or however you want it. And you've also got your polling rate on there as well and a few other options but otherwise that's pretty much it you can do a custom profile so you can change between profiles depending on if you're using it for work or a specific game and so forth if you wish so in conclusion well the mouse does exactly what it says on the tin i think it's just a little bit disappointing though that you haven't got rgb lighting on it especially this day and age i know you can turn the lighting off but turquoise is not everyone's cup of tea and i think you're going to be alienating a lot of customers because they want it specifically red blue green so forth turquoise doesn't match in with really many case designs at all especially keyboards and so forth so i would have preferred to see that rgb to be honest with you otherwise the mouse has got all the bits you need it's programmable you can do everything Thin and nice cable on there good quality the build quality seems pretty good it doesn't seem like it's cheap plastic so it's, it seems pretty good the only thing i think it's lacking is that rgb and we would have rated it higher if it had got rgb lighting on it thank you for watching this video everyone it's really appreciated you made it all the way to the end 
please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and even click that bell so you get notifications of new videos and live streams. It does help support the channel, and supporting the channel basically means that we can release more content for you, and also better quality content going forward. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.